Hey, hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hashtasha. Today we are playing some Minecraft on the Time Zone server once again. Oh, hi, Liz. And as promised last episode, I cleaned up this mob farm. We have chests for all the stuff here. The chests already have a decent amount of stuff. And instructions how this works and why it suddenly stops. Also, a light here to indicate that the first layer is full and you might want to start killing mobs. And a safety lever, which provides some safety from creepers. And zombies. And everything else that can spawn on the surface. It can't spawn in this way, but sometimes they'll find their way down there. Especially zombies, because they have like 40 block tracking. Anyways, today we are going to work some on spawn, because this is spawn, it's ugly. We want to work on spawn. Not really doing like a community build, we want to build like actual spawn today. So I'm in charge of the walkways, and I will probably go with a design similar to this, like have plates. It's not really plates, what do you call this? Like on the side of... Uh, walkway <laughs> like stones on the side of the walkway to give it a little bit more structure for the random pattern here coarse dirt granite gravel cobble that's pretty much about it also maybe mix these two in not sure about that yet it's either these two or only mossy cobble additionally but we probably can mix it up like mossy cobble and these two don't go well together because that's way too many colors for a random pattern like this. So we could mix it up a little bit and have like the north part have these and ways to the south have mossy cobble or something. Maybe something that makes sense. Like a mossy starts with an M and reverse that's a V. A v. A W for west. So we use mossy on the west. That does make a whole lot of sense, but that's just a stupid example. And for people who really want like structured walkways and don't like this at all, which is one person on the server who built the walkways on the last season's map, which no one liked, <laughs> um, they can do something like this and have it a little bit more structured than here. This is basically a try to change it up a little bit. And it works quite well, could still be random. And you could also make this like straight and have stairs like every block and not mess it up like I did here. So yeah, but that's only like a secondary objective. First objective is to build like spawn, like something like this, where we have cardinal directions because we are playing without coordinates. And uh, maybe like a circle, do stuff. And I actually want to get the time zone logo somewhere in there, so I'll probably do that. But that requires a lot of groundwork. Also, I need to figure out where actual spawn is and we will do that together. <laughs> So originally I planned to die a couple of times here to uh, find out where spawn is. Like the actual corn in the block. When you spawn, you spawn within 20, 20 blocks of the middle of four blocks. Like if this is actual spawn, I can spawn 10 blocks that direction, 10 blocks that direction. Spawn within 10, 20 blocks of the actual spawn point. In uh, quotation marks. And you can find out the exact spawn point by dying a couple of times and then seeing where you are because you will always spawn within 20 blocks of that four points and not four points, <laughs> four blocks or the middle of four blocks. And basically it's always on chunk border. So this has to be chunk, this has to be chunk, this has to be chunk, this has to be a chunk. Not the case here. We are not playing with coordinates, but you can still see where you are in, a, in the chunk you are correctly correctly currently in so uh yeah originally i planned to die a couple of times didn't do it though watch my first video where we started here with four people and i record all the time i saw four people spawn and myself spawn so i have a pretty good idea also the world border was centered on the actual spawn and it still is <laughs> and in the beginning the world border was like 20 blocks so I have a pretty good idea where spawn is, it's somewhere like here. And easy way to find that out, open F3, see where we cross chunk boundaries. There's a chunk boundary here, between this and this block. And there's one here. So actual spawn should be on this corner here. 
So we will build spawn around this. Ta-da! Which means I need to get rid of the river, which I pretty much knew before. But probably we could uh, like tear out a little bit on that hill. It's not a mountain, but on the hill and run the river through that. Anyways, I will do some grunt work and uh, get you guys into it every now and then. I probably won't do time lapse because I want to watch a movie while doing grunt work or something. And not record. So let me do that and I will be right back. Alright, so now we got an upper smaller circle and a lower bigger circle. And in the lower circle I will now build the time zone logo. Which will then be visible through the upper circle, which we will fill in with glass or something else so that is translucent. So let me do that really quick and I will be right back. So I went into the nether to harvest some of that precious quartz and my pick ran out, I went to repair it. <laughs> and I got lost. Like really, really badly lost. I've been walking through the nether for about 20 minutes now. Can I make this jump? I don't think so. We have to get rid of that guy. Otherwise, he's going to make me make that drop. Thank you. Okay. Um, I guess we will bridge out a little bit. We can. Basically, that's that's the stronghold over there, and that's pretty much the first human built thing I see in the Nether after getting lost. I don't know what happened. I wasn't even too far away from the portal, but uh, went went back. And I thought it was the way I came from, but apparently it was not, and I got really badly lost. And if I hadn't found this thing, the worst case scenario is I have to go out to the world border, which is a thousand blocks at least. On Not at least, <laughs> at max. And then uh, go from the corner of the world border diagonal to the middle, to zero zero, because that is where the portal should be. But uh, luckily I didn't have to do that, so hopefully this is a stronghold someone explored and <laughs> this isn't just there to, I don't know, fool people. And there's also a stronghold reason to be close to like the portal, I think, like the base portal. Spawn portal. And we get a wither skeleton. I would like to get rid of the place. We got a few wither skeletons. Yeah, there's there's a chest there that uh, looks humanly placed. Because I don't think double chests generate another fortress. Can you get away from the zombie pigman? Okay, thanks. All right, any skulls? No skulls? Yeah, this was made by someone. So... Let's see... Oh, okay. So I kill that... Oh! It's a bunch of them. And there's also blazes, like, everywhere. Didn't hit the blaze. That's okay. Any skulls? No. Okay, I think best bet go into this direction. See where this leads <laughs> and run away from everything. What do you know? I found a portal. It's not the spawn portal, I'm pretty sure, but it's a portal. And I feel much safer traversing, like the overworld. Ah. Whose base is this? Oh, I think it's uh, Nemiku's place. And Nico's. <laughs> and Megas. So we should go into that direction for stuff. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Maybe we'll check that out. Apparently, it is a huge villager breeding machine. Which I don't really like. Okay, so now I got the time zone logo in. By the way, if you have never seen it, it's a T and a Z. 
for time zone and they're crossed in an hourglass shape and there's sand in the hourglass because time zone and time and whatever. <laughs> Rarely seen but we do have it. So where do we go from here? I have no idea. But I kind of want to make another circle around this. Especially to hide like the lower circle in there. Probably should get rid of this junk. And that's not my axe, but uh, that's fine. So another circle around this, which has to be bigger than this circle. So uh, let's just make it one bigger, should work out right. So seven, three, one, let's do two, one, two. It often looks pretty good. Um, one again, and three again, and seven again. And then we will fill this in with like birch slabs and have openings to the walkways here. And probably display cardinal directions on banners on this and this block. And obviously we also need to put something there because otherwise people are going to spawn down there, which is not very good because you cannot get up from there. So uh, quickly tower up to see if this actually is like a circle. But I think the, the blocks are about right. Yeah, I think they are right. <laughs> like if we just did the same thing like on the circle below, <laughs> on the next smaller circle, on the glowstone circle. It wouldn't look like a circle at all, but more like an octagon, because this is going to be another straight line that's really long. I mean, yeah, it's two blocks longer than this straight line, which already is five blocks long. So that's going to look not like a circle, but like a diagonal from an octagon <laughs> or something. So yeah, let me build some more stuff and I will be back with you in a sec. Grow, go, grow, chop, chop, chop. Grow, go, grow, chop, slash, chop, slash, slash, grow, punch, slash, shoot, chop, slash, punch, grass. So having the glass thing above and the colors of the logo below looks kind of cool when you're straight above it. <laughs> but that's pretty much about it. Every other perspective it looks like really weird. I thought it would give like a cool effect but... I mean I guess it's sort of okay from here. It's kind of weird though, I think it would be better if everything was white and maybe you have it one block lower the glass yeah it's it's kind of weird or maybe maybe gray probably white though right and probably not this kind because maybe this kind probably white though <laughs> i mean the stripes are like really annoying for most people so probably white I guess. Uh, sick touch pick. Not on me. So it looks quite a bit better with the white glass. However, um, there's something about this that annoys me a little bit. Like from a distance, this looks awesome. But when you're down here, I don't know, it's a little bit lackluster. It could be like more epic in quotation marks. Which I thought I could do by raising this like five blocks. Would look better probably and we could do something with these walls on the outside however that gives us two problems first of all people who spawn in the middle here won't be able to get out <laughs> and i d really don't want to have ladders or slime blocks showing or anything however i can probably fix that like have a an unobtrusive button somewhere at the bottom and when you press that a water ladder comes out of the wall or something so that's probably easy to solve but the other problem is that this, if we build this up higher, would look lackluster from a distance. 
because if it's this flat, you can see the logo like from from here, like from everywhere. At least when you are like one block higher than this. But if we have the outside like five blocks higher, not so much. So I probably kind of want to keep this, but uh, I don't know, add something. But I have to let it sink a little bit and think about what I want to do here still. I mean, obviously cardinal directions, but uh, how to make this more interesting because right now it's like a circular pathway with nothing interesting. I mean, we could have iron bars here or something. <laughs> Stuff like that to touch it up a little bit. Anyways, we have worked on this for quite a while. Let's do something completely else. Let's go exploring. So I will get some stuff together and we will go explore. All right, I'm all set for exploring. And I also talked to Nemiku about these walkways and it ended pretty much at this design. So this is what we will use. No cost dirt. <laughs> so now we will go exploring. Where will we go exploring? In the nether. So, I'm back from the nether and exploring didn't turn out to be too interesting. It was pretty boring, but I found a couple of strongholds, like seven. Got a bunch of good stuff, didn't get any diamond horse armor, which was pretty much the main thing I shot for. But I got some gold house armor, which we also can't get in the overworld. So, we cannot get diamond horse armor in the overworld, by the way, because it's replaced by enchanting tables. So is gold armor, but it's replaced by something else. Anyways, got a bunch of diamonds, bunch of glowstone. Good stuff, pretty much. <laughs> and also, my texture pack is... Uh, it's not done yet, like the whole nether isn't done, but... Uh, most of the overworld stuff is. Chests are not, by the way, but everything else, pretty much. And it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I really like it. Also, Nemiku with this, which... Uh, I thought it was going to be Town Hall, but apparently it's going to be something else, like a bookstore or something. But yeah, I got all the flowers done, got a bunch of stuff done, so it will probably be released soonish. And uh, that is one of the reasons why you won't see any videos in the next few days, probably. Because first of all, I want to finish up this. Second of all, I want to get like a PvP map release ready, which... <laughs> has been pretty much ready on my hard drive for two or three weeks now, but I never got around to doing the last finishing touches. So you will probably see a release trailer this weekend for that, hopefully. So anyway, so that's going to be it. A little bit of a shorter episode, but uh, anyways, so thanks for watching. Have a good one and until next time. Bye bye. Also my donkey died.